Welcome to Gitmo. How long will you be staying with us? Well, no one really knows. Guess what? What? Where you guys are going? They have never even heard of rights. This is Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we'll be counting down the top 5 facts about Guantanamo Bay. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. On 45 square miles of land leased from Cuba sits the most notorious American prison. Once a naval base, it has been used as a military detention center since 2002 as part of the War on Terror, and has earned itself a reputation for major human rights violations. Detainees have been subjected to psychological abuse, sleep deprivation, sound and light manipulation, repeated physical beatings, indefinite isolation, and of course, waterboarding. So try and enjoy your stay. Number 5 Prisoners Have Died There An alleged member of Al-Qaeda being held prisoner at Guantanamo Bay apparently has killed himself. We're skipping the foreplay. In total, nine detainees have died while in the custody of Guantanamo Bay. One died of cancer, but the other eight cases, one heart attack and seven suicides, have been met with scrutiny, particularly the alleged suicide of three men in 2006. The NCIS investigation into the event was heavily criticized for inconsistencies. These doubts, coupled with the presence of rags in the throats of the men, aroused further suspicion of foul play. Suspicions that were fully expanded upon in a joint investigation by NBC and Harper Magazine, which suggested that they were tortured to death during interrogation. As of 2011, it's believed a technique called dryboarding may have been used. And according to ex-Guantanamo guard turned whistleblower Joseph Hickman, the triple suicide was almost certainly a cover-up. They found nothing in the cell block for detainees to hang themselves with. Number four, inmates are detained indefinitely without trial. One of your guys here, one of those guys who don't wear uniform, he told me that I'm innocent. He told me that he knows I'm innocent, but I still cannot go home. In America, everyone has the right to a fair trial. Unfortunately for the detainees of Guantanamo Bay, that doesn't apply to them as suspected foreign terrorists, which the US view as enemy combatants. In some cases, individuals have been held for more than a decade without charges or a trial. Under the Authorization for Use of Military Force, or AUMF, of 2001, America justifies indefinite detention, deeming their detainees to be security risks. You will refer to them as detainees, you will not call them prisoners. Legal loopholes aside, Human Rights Watch and the United Nations have both called this practice illegal. Worse yet, detainees cleared for release remained in detention for months or years without legal justification. Prisoners have protested indefinite detention with hunger strikes, to which the US responded with forced nasal and rectal feedings, another violation of human rights. They really, you know, they don't want to even believe you are a human being. Number three, minors can be detained. Guantanamo Bay? We can't go to Guantanamo Bay! Ever heard of Camp Iguana? They have outdoor activities, air conditioning, television, twin beds, and you can see the ocean. It's basically sleepaway camp, except it's a special section of Guantanamo Bay used to house detainees under the age of 16, who they refer to as juvenile enemy combatants. Call them whatever you want, they are children, and everywhere else in the world, taking them by force is called kidnapping, no matter how well you treat them. The parents of Asadullah Rahman searched for their son for seven months before being informed of his whereabouts. The youngest detainee ever, he was taken at just 10 years old. In total, it's been reported that 22 minors have been admitted. Number two, the rent might be cheap, but the cost is high. America's Guantanamo Bay land lease reportedly only cost $4,085 per month, an arrangement dating back to the 1903 Platt Amendment. In protest of this occupation, however, Cuba has allegedly refused to cash in the checks for 55 years. As Fidel Castro once told a film crew, they've just been accumulating in his desk. Despite the low rent, Guantanamo Bay is staggeringly expensive. No one can seem to agree on an exact figure, but the annual cost per prisoner is $900,000 according to President Obama, $2.7 million according to Democrat Representative Adam Smith, and $5 million by the ACLU's estimation. Any of these numbers are astronomical when compared to the average cost per prisoner at a maximum security federal prison, which is roughly $34,000. Last tallied in 2015, Guantanamo Bay has cost the US $5.6 billion. Number one, it may never close. When it does not advance our security, we have to change course. When President Obama took office in 2009, he promised to close Guantanamo Bay. We've covered the wide variety of horrors perpetrated at this institution, any one of which should have been enough to get the place shut down. Keeping this facility open is contrary to our values. But try as he might, Obama repeatedly failed. The reason? A government divided. 
At every turn, Obama's efforts were blocked, including the passing of a bill by congressional Republicans forbidding the transfer of detainees to US soil, or spending any funds to alter or build new structures to house them. With the election of Donald Trump came the promise to not only keep the prison open, but load it with some bad dudes, and we have a lot of them, including Americans, despite that being illegal. With 56% of Americans opposing its closure, it'll likely stay open or even grow. And don't tell me it doesn't work. Torture works, okay, folks? Torture, you know, I have these guys. Torture doesn't work. Believe me, it works, okay? So which of these facts did you find the most interesting? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.